Hello YouTube and welcome to another trip report. Our journey begins here at New Delhi Railway Station which is one of the busiest in the country, even at 5 in the morning. New Delhi Railway Station is simply huge and there are over 16 platforms that serve the station. Today, our train will be leaving from platform number 13. To get to your platform, you can make use of these overhead bridges, but do note that they can get really overcrowded and dangerous during peak periods, so be careful. We will be travelling on the Delhi Kathgodam Shatabdi Express, which leaves at 6am and arrives at 11.30 in the morning. Shatabi Express are a series of super-fast day trains that operate on short to medium-haul routes. They serve the sole purpose of connecting metro cities such as Mumbai and Delhi to other major cities in India. Today, I will be travelling on the standard chair cars to Kathgodam where the seats are arranged in a 3-2 layout. In comparison, the executive chair cars have seats that are arranged in a 2-2 layout. This train has definitely seen better days as the seats are dated, grimy, dirty and full of disgusting stains. The toilets were in a really bad shape, there was an unbearable stench of stale urine that was permeating from it and the floors were really wet and grimy. However, the worst part was the fact that the taps were not working at all. After that disappointing toilet experience, I was really looking forward to breakfast. Soon enough, a cabinet attendant came around after 15 minutes and started handing out breakfast trays. There were two options you could choose from for breakfast, which were the vegetarian or the non-vegetarian options. This is what you'll be receiving in the vegetarian option. Two slices of brown bread, two potato cutlets, accompanied by the various condiments pictured. And that's what you'll be getting in the non-vegetarian option. In my opinion, if you want a more flavorful breakfast, you should definitely give the vegetarian option a try.
They soon came around with another round of tea and this was the perfect opportunity for me to appreciate the beautiful Indian countryside while sipping on a hot cup of tea. At this point, we soon passed the city of Moradabad, which was actually the northernmost city in the state of Uttar Pradesh. The weather got really bad really quick and this was a clear indication that we were nearing the mountainous regions. And here's a fun fact, our destination city Kathgodam is actually located 600 meters above sea level. As our journey comes to an end, I believe this would be a good time to give a brief synopsis of the trip. Overall the ride was a very pleasant one and it's a great way to get to another city if you're not in a rush and want to enjoy some stunning scenery on the way. The food provided was more than ample for this 5 hour journey and honestly speaking, travelling 280 kilometers for just 800 Indian rupees or 15 Singapore dollars is a really economical way to commute between these two cities and I would definitely recommend taking the Shatabdi Express in the future. That's it, we are here in Kharkodam. I hope you enjoyed watching this trip report as much as I enjoyed making it. Until then, take care and stay tuned for another video.